Now, do you know what these are? I didn't until a few minutes ago. These are tiny pellets used to make a lot of the plastic products that we use every single day, and they are called nurdles. Nurdles. I've heard of needles and noodles. <laughs> nurdles. Never nurdles. Uh, you might be unaware, but uh, millions of these wash up on our beaches uh, every year. Uh, this weekend, people up and down the country have been collecting them in a bid to raise awareness of plastic pollution. They are very small, pretty hard to spot all of them. You're going to have to get eyesight to find those on the on beach. The beach. Yeah. <laughs> Sky's uh, Rebecca Williams went out with them and sent this report. Hunting for nurdles, here in Scotland and all across the UK, people are scouring the beaches for tiny plastic pellets. They're used by manufacturing companies to make almost all of our plastic products, but many of them escape, spilling out of factories or cargo into the water with devastating consequences. So once these pellets are at sea, they don't go away. Um, all they do will, is slowly break down into smaller and smaller pieces, which will just become more widespread um, in the environment. And um, they also, like other microplastics, act like sponges, um, taking up pollutants from the surrounding water. Nurdles are the building block for industry. Companies like this one in Derby melt them down to make bin bags. But they can be used to make all sorts of things, like water bottles, plastic dolls, even spacecraft cables. The problem that we have is historic. A lot of the nurdles, so-called, got into the system 30 or 40 years ago. A lot of this plastic waste in the ocean hasn't originated in Western Europe. We're quite good in Western Europe. It's coming from the Pacific Rim, from the Far East, where the only way that refuse is normally disposed of is to throw it out and it ends up in the sea. So as you can see, these are the nurdles. They look a bit like lentils. At the moment, there's no regulations in the UK dictating how they are managed. Lots of them are slipping into the environment. Animals eat them. They feel poor. So many of them die of starvation. The issue is now so serious that there are calls for companies using nurdles to take greater care to contain them. So a really basic thing is making sure there's drain covers in place, even just training staff to make sure that they know that if a spill happens exactly what they need to do and how they're going to clean it up and what procedures are for that. In 2012, 150 tonnes of nurdles leaked from shipping containers into the sea around Hong Kong. But nurdles are washing up on beaches closer to home. It's believed there could be 1.2 million pellets here on Lime Kilns Beach. Campaigners are calling on the government to take action. Rebecca Williams, Sky News, Scotland. Mm. Uh, well, there you go. They are nurdles. Look at them. I mean, fish eat these, and you can see why. They're so small. They look like fish food. Yeah, they're tiny. And, and this is part of the problem, of course, that uh, fish, sea life can eat them. Uh, and then they, yours. Then they, <laughs> and Typical. then they get into the food chain. And, of course, uh, ultimately could end up inside us as well. But uh, very hard to spot. Goodness knows how they manage it on the beach. Well, you saw that woman there with a pair of tweezers on the beach. That's how difficult they are to retrieve. But, uh, as Rebecca Williams was saying there, they, they are the components that make up all the plastic. So to get them back, it's a form of recycling, isn't it? And um, just to remind you, you can find out more about Sky Ocean Rescue, our big campaign uh, on our website. You can also watch the documentary, A Plastic Tide, that's on demand at the moment. Oh, uh, you're speaking to someone about um, why they're called Nerdles as well. It's such a weird name, isn't it? It is a, a, bit it is a, a strange name. Yeah. Uh, right, let's have a look at the front pages.